Muscular Dystrophy, Wikipedia Article Audio Muscular dystrophy is a group of muscle diseases that results in increasing weakening and breakdown of skeletal muscles over time. The disorders differ in which muscles are primarily affected, the degree of weakness, how fast they worsen, and when symptoms begin. Many people will eventually become unable to walk. Some types are also associated with problems in other organs. Signs and Symptoms Cause Types Diagnosis Management Prognosis History Research there are nine main categories of muscular dystrophy that contain more than 30 specific types. The most common type is Duchenne muscular dystrophy which typically affects males beginning around the age of 4. Other types include Becker muscular dystrophy, Facioscapulohumal muscular dystrophy, and myotonic dystrophy. They are due to mutations in genes that are involved in making muscle proteins. This can occur due to either inheriting the defect from one's parents or the mutation occurring during early development. Disorders may be X-linked recessive, autosomal recessive, or autosomal dominant. Diagnosis often involves blood tests and genetic testing. There is no cure for muscular dystrophy. Physical therapy, braces, and corrective surgery may help with some symptoms. Assisted ventilation may be required in those with weakness of breathing muscles. Medications used include steroids to slow muscle degeneration, anticonvulsants to control seizures and some muscle activity, and immunosuppressants to delay damage to dying muscle cells. Outcomes depend on the specific type of disorder. Duchenne muscular dystrophy, which represents about half of all cases of muscular dystrophy, affects about 1 in 5,000 males at birth. Muscular dystrophy was first described in the 1830s by Charles Bell. The word dystrophy is from the Greek dis, meaning difficult and trough meaning nourish. Gene therapy as a treatment, is in the early stages of study in humans. The signs and symptoms consistent with muscular dystrophy are These conditions are generally inherited, and the different muscular dystrophies follow various inheritance patterns. Muscular dystrophy can be inherited by individuals as an X-linked disorder, a recessive or dominant disorder. Furthermore, it can be a spontaneous mutation which means errors in the replication of DNA and spontaneous lesions. Spontaneous lesions are due to natural damage to DNA, where the most common are depurination and deamination. Dystrophin protein is found in muscle fiber membrane, its helical nature allows it to act like a spring or shock absorber. Dystrophin links actin in the cytoskeleton and dystroglycans of the muscle cell plasma membrane, known as the sarcolemma. In addition to mechanical stabilization, dystrophin also regulates calcium levels. Recent studies on the interaction of proteins with mesense mutations and its neighbors showed high degree of rigidity associated with central hub proteins involved in protein binding and flexible subnetworks having molecular functions involved with calcium. Age at onset is birth, the symptoms include general muscle weakness and possible joint deformities, disease progresses slowly, and lifespan is shortened. Congenital muscular dystrophy includes several disorders with a range of symptoms. Muscle degeneration may be mild or severe. Problems may be restricted to skeletal muscle, or muscle degeneration may be paired with effects on the brain and other organ systems. 
Several forms of the congenital muscular dystrophies are caused by defects in proteins thought to have some relationship to the dystrophin glycoprotein complex and to the connections between muscle cells and their surrounding cellular structure. Some forms of congenital muscular dystrophy show severe brain malformations, such as lysencephaly and hydrocephalus. Dystrophin is part of a complex structure involving several other protein components. The dystrophin glycoprotein complex helps anchor the structural skeleton within the muscle cells, through the outer membrane of each cell, to the tissue framework that surrounds each cell. Due to defects in this assembly, Contraction of the muscle leads to disruption of the outer membrane of the muscle cells and eventual weakening and wasting of the muscle. Miyoshi myopathy, one of the distal muscular dystrophies, causes initial weakness in the calf muscles, and is caused by defects in the same gene responsible for one form of limb girdle muscular dystrophy. The three subtypes of Emery Driafus MD are distinguishable by their pattern of inheritance, X-linked, autosomal dominant, and autosomal recessive. The X-linked form is the most common. Each type varies in prevalence and symptoms. The disease is caused by mutations in the LMNA gene, or more commonly, the EMD gene. Both genes encode for protein components of the nuclear envelope. However, how these mutations cause the pathogenesis is not well understood. Fasciocapulohumeral muscular dystrophy initially affects the muscles of the face, shoulders, and upper arms with progressive weakness. Symptoms usually develop in early adulthood, affected individuals become severely disabled. The pattern of inheritance is autosomal dominant, though a number of spontaneous mutations occur. Two defects are needed for FSHD, which for the first time provides a unifying theory for the underlying genetics of FSHD. FSHD occurs both in males and females. Myotonic MD type 1 is the most common adult form of muscular dystrophy. It results from the expansion of a short repeat in the DNA sequence of the myotonic dystrophy protein kinase gene. Myotonic muscular dystrophy type 2 is rarer and is a result of the expansion of the CCTG repeat in the zinc finger protein 9 gene. The diagnosis of muscular dystrophy is based on the results of muscle biopsy increased creatine phosphokinase, electromyography, and genetic testing. A physical examination and the patient's medical history will help the doctor determine the type of muscular dystrophy. Specific muscle groups are affected by different types of muscular dystrophy. Other tests that can be done are chest X-ray, echocardiogram, CT scan, and magnetic resonance image scan, which via a magnetic field can produce images whose detail helps diagnose muscular dystrophy. Quality of life can be measured using specific questionnaires. Currently, there is no cure for muscular dystrophy. In terms of management, physical therapy, occupational therapy, orthotic intervention, speech therapy, and respiratory therapy may be helpful. Low-intensity corticosteroids such as prednisone, and deflazacort may help to maintain muscle tone. Orthoses and corrective orthopedic surgery may be needed to improve the quality of life in some cases. The cardiac problems that occur with EDMD and myotonic muscular dystrophy may require a pacemaker. The myotonia occurring in myotonic muscular dystrophy may be treated with medications such as quinine. Occupational therapy assists the individual with MD to engage in activities of daily living and leisure activities at the most independent level possible. This may be achieved with use of adaptive equipment or the use of energy conservation techniques.
Occupational therapy may implement changes to a person's environment, both at home or work, to increase the individual's function and accessibility, furthermore, it addresses psychosocial changes and cognitive decline which may accompany MD, and provides support and education about the disease to the family and individual. Prognosis depends on the individual form of MD. In some cases, a person with a muscle disease will get progressively weaker to the extent that it shortens lifespan due to heart and breathing complications. However, some of the muscle diseases do not affect life expectancy at all, and ongoing research is attempting to find cures and treatments to slow muscle weakness. In the 1860s, descriptions of boys who grew progressively weaker, lost the ability to walk, and died at an early age became more prominent in medical journals. In the following decade, French neurologist Guillaume Duchenne gave a comprehensive account of the most common and severe form of the disease, which now carries his name Duchenne MD. It soon became evident that the disease had more than one form. The other major forms are Becker, limb girdle, congenital, facioscapulohumeral, myotonic, oculopharyngeal, distal, and EDMD. Duchenne and Becker muscular dystrophies, being caused by a mutation of a gene located on the X chromosome, predominantly affect males, although females can sometimes have severe symptoms, as well. Most types of MD are multi-system disorders with manifestations in body systems including the heart, gastrointestinal system, nervous system, endocrine glands, eyes, and brain. WHO International conducted trials on optimum steroid regimen for MD, in the UK in 2012. In terms of research within the United States, the primary federally funded organizations that focus on muscular dystrophy research, including gene therapy and regenerative medicine, are the National Institute of Neurological Disorders and Stroke. National Institute of Arthritis and Musculoskeletal and Skin Diseases, and National Institute of Child Health and Human Development. In 1966, the Muscular Dystrophy Association began its annual Jerry Lewis MDA Telethon, which has probably done more to raise awareness of muscular dystrophy than any other event or initiative. Disability rights advocates, however, have criticized the telethon for portraying victims of the disease as deserving pity rather than respect. On December 18, 2001, the MD Care Act was signed into law in the USA, it amends the Public Health Service Act to provide research for the various muscular dystrophies. This law also established the Muscular Dystrophy Coordinating Committee to help focus research efforts through a coherent research strategy. Muscular Dystrophies at Cully